every human knows that Nick Saban is the coaching go to college football. That didn't matter to Brady Garfunkel, who was the former defensive corner at Alabama. He left the school after Coach Saban refused to give him a pay raise. Coach Garfunkel loves the whole grudges and was a pissed off beaver, so he took the job offer to be the head coach at Auburn. And he wants nothing more than to become the new GOAT of college football. And since Nicky has been at Alabama for 16 years, Coach will have that exact amount of time to showcase his coaching abilities and try to overtake Coach Saban as the new GOAT. Quickly assessing the roster, isn't anything spectacular? Definitely not bad, but gonna need some big improvements. Thankfully, Coach Garfunkel has his quarterback for the next four years of Robbie Ashford. It'll be majestic to watch him evolve from a caterpillar to an elegant butterfly. 2-0 start, won't hear Tanner complain. Yikes, almost lost to Washington State Week 1, avoided a catastrophe there. First big-time game for Coach Garfunkel, home against the Bulldogs. Goodness gracious, we're getting shafted so far. Hoping to flip the script, Robbie lost to Coy Moore, and he'll run in for a touchdown. Love this gang, Rocky would be proud. We aren't going down without a fight. Robbie keeps the read option, uses the speed to get in the end zone. Thank you, lad. Coming out of the wire, just a few seconds left. Need to hanker down here. Defense, they sit and throw to the left, way short of the first down. Negative IQ decision there. We beat the Bulldogs at home by four. Big thanks to Coy. Tanner is personally a salmon guy. Sushi scares me. I don't want rabies. Little stumble, six and five. Got bulgeability. Can't be mad about that. Went on a three game winning streak, then decided to fold over like a lawn chair and lose four in a row. Teams playing content, I think Coach would take away the water and the Gatorade to make them drink Powerade. That should get them in order. Couldn't come at a better time welcoming our old pal Nicholas Jupopolis Sabin to Auburn. And we need to impress the recruits visiting campus. We don't have Livy Dunn here like LSU. They have it easy when it comes to recruiting. But even with those limitations, Coach has put together a class he's pretty proud of so far. Got ourselves a barn burner up to this point. Need Robbie to put this puppy away and get us a touchdown here. He sprints out to his right, uses his 20-20 vision, and rivals it to Johnny Boy for a touchdown. Isn't even a question. Coach drives a Ford F-150. He's compensating for something, but it sure isn't stones. We give it to Tank Bigsby. He cuts up and... Uh, oh, that didn't go as planned. Need to hope for a miracle here. Just kick it at the kid who looks like a lost puppy. It's bouncing around. Get it, guys. We recover it. Thank goodness for Vaseline. Can't blow this gang. Robbie stays patient in the pocket, looking around. Hits Johnny Boy down the seat for a first down to get into field goal range. Perfect. Kicker is eyes, still nail it. He wants to have intercourse with somebody outside of his family tonight. Never a doubt, it's going through. Count on the desperate man to win us coach's first Iron Bowl over Nick, 19-17. Playing the green leprechaun, would love to keep the momentum rolling. Feeling good so far, offense has moved well. Robbie sits the pocket, and again, Johnny is wide open in the seam, just too easy for Robbie. Can't say we expected this, the Irish aren't putting up much of a fight. Robbie keeps a fake, and has the easiest touch I ever, just blows this baby wide open. We let off the gas, we have sympathy, we're nice humans. As we went by 18, and Robbie played great, he's been surprisingly good in his freshman season. PSA, to make it more realistic and fair, anyone who's declaring early and is a third round projection or higher, coach will let them live their dream and leave us early for this video. But we didn't have to worry about that with DJ James. Jay Fair is transferring out of the program, pretty sad about his departure. I mean, we have a ton of friends leaving the program through graduation as well. Best of luck to all you chaps. Hope one of you make coach proud and invent a thingy that reads books out loud for people, because Tanner doesn't like to read, but his ears like to listen. 17 commits to the class, and we need every single one. Best decisions of your life, guys. Honestly, shocked how quickly coach dominated the trail. David Moore and Ryan Walker, both on D defense should be studs for us down the line. Top 10 class in the country in the first season. Higher ranked than Bama's class? That's a great sign for us. Definitely some improvement to the roster, even though we lost a ton of kids. Like what we have here. Little quarterback battle brewing up here. Robbie will likely win the job, but he has to keep improving. On the defensive side, we have a crazy good defensive tackle room with Marcus Harris, Jason Jones, and Jeffrey Mimba. Man, I wish Tanner was 6'6". Six, six. I'm a jealous fishy. 5-3 and three start to year dose. Not bad, not bad. Started out 5-0, and oh, and yep, last three in a row. Taking away the Gatorade and the water. They know the protocol by now. Going back home to play the Dogs Georgia. Got a ton of kids visiting. Very risky move by Coach Garfunkel. Better be sure the boys are ready to play tonight. Early so far, nothing too insurmountable. Robbie rushes out to his right, and he hits Tyler Fromm, who's got a clear land in the end zone, and the big man will get in to tie it up. Our defense just shows up in these big games. Offense decides to take a catnap. Opportunity to tie it up and maybe get the lead. Robbie throws to the right sideline. Javarius Johnson to get his touchdown. Coach still has the Ford F-150. We're going for it. Robbie drops back, and no one's open. This is awkward. Well, cue the Titanic music. Lost by one of the Dugs. Sad way to end, but proud of the way the team fought. 7-5, just like last year. Beat Salsa in LSU but Saban got the better of us this year in the final game of the regular season. Playing the Frogs, let's get another bowl game dub. Deez has started the affair at the goal line. Robbie gives it to Mr. Hunter, and he sprints through the hole to get into the end zone. Defense has been awesome this so far. Robbie hands up Jerkez again. He runs forward. It keeps turning those big legs, and Small finds his way in for a touchdown. The SEC is their kryptonite, man. We're just spanking them right now. Robbie drifts back and throws over middle. It's Brandon Frazier. Beautiful play, gang. The team celebrates, but we weren't surprised by a performance. They didn't even score a single point. Love to see Coach Garfunkel's defensive philosophy rub off on the team in the win. Jake is leaving us. Going back the 
West Coast, he probably misses in and out. DJ and Zion are both going to the draft from our secondary. And again, we have a lot of graduates leaving the squad. I see some future detectives here. Solve the Zodiac killer, man. Do society a favor. 21 commits this cycle. I love Coach's urgency to add a lot of quantity to the roster. Lonnie McCray was a good get. Beat out the little Abercrombie people for him, as well as Butte Oliver from Mississippi. Big boy at defensive end. Only the second year, but Coach has already landed the number one class in America. The future is bright at Auburn, Alabama, and it's not because of the sun. This team is getting me tingly, just like the first time I listened to Ariana Grande. She is beautiful music. Robbie has secured a headman spot at quarterback for the rest of his career. He's been great for us. Jason Jones, Donovan Kopp, and Keontae Scott, all on defense. will keep that side of the ball elite this season. 6 no start of the season. Can't get too excited and crash and burn like OTA, even though somebody I used to know was a sucky song anyway. That explains the Scooby-Doo mystery. Haven't played any team with a pulse yet. Love that we're beating everybody that we should, though. But that'll change this week. Playing a top 25 team in the road. Need to bring some swagger to College Station. Early deficit. Team's not rattled yet. They're not scared of snakes. Tanner can't relate. Those slithery creatures are terrifying. Robbie spurts out to his left and has a sushi open deep downfield and he hits him to stride and that'll be a touchdown to tie this baby up. The offense hasn't done squat since. Want to change that here. We throw underneath to Jarquez. He sees the end zone. He won't be denied. Too big. It's drown. Built a nice touchdown lead. Field goal here where we can kiss this bump up by. That kick is going through. Good job, guys. Close win on the road over the Aggie. Super proud of the team's resilience so far this year. 10 and 1. Not going to hear Tammy and complain. Had our nine game win streak. Then Georgia decided to give us a wedgie. Not very kind of them. Now we welcome Bama to Jordan Hare Stadium. The winner gets to go to the SEC Championship. Dreams to reality, man. So far, not so good. Robbie is hurt. Not ideal. Need a touchdown here. Holden spritz out. Has a ton of space. Take it. Yes, he did. Touchdown, Tigers. We kicked the field goal before half. Still down 11, but hanging around. Not in a good spot whatsoever. Jalen keeps a reaction. Yeah, no one's out there, dude. Pooey. Lost by seven to Bama. Out for this one. Wouldn't be surprised to see coach diagnosis an insomniac. Still get a fun bull game against the Badgers. Need this one to get that yucky taste out of our mouths. Robbie is still hurt, but Holden is ready for the moment. He throws the mic, and he's fast enough. He's going to get in the end zone for his compadres. Still with how the team is playing, but not satisfied. Holden runs out of there and it's Micah again another touchdown for the Tigers the squad celebrates confetti raining down reminds me of the time I want to connect for a tournament in second grade such a great feeling they ended up making the score look respectable since coach has a soft spot and compassion big thanks to Holden he's been good for us ever since Robbie has been hurt happy with his performance another transfer man these kids must be freaked out that coach never sleeps in those Red Bull vending machines everywhere safe to say it's not for everyone convinced our kids to come back he wasn't a high enough draft choice really not too many soldiers leaving the posse should have an even better team next season another really great class for coach try to get more high end quality this class and I think we achieved it. Marcus was a great snag at corner as well as landing the number one quarterback in the nation. Adam Hallway, he'll be waiting in the wings. Third class in the country, still very happy with it. Just gotta keep stacking these elite recruiting classes. This team is cooking big time. Got some Gordon Ramsay flair here. It's Robbie's senior season. He wants the SEC title and to go out on top of the world. So happy we convinced Strick has to come back. He's gonna be a canine for us. Expect a lot of barking out of the kiddo. 4 0 start to year four. It's feeling a little magical early on. Beat a couple SEC teams and two other yucky teams, but we're pleased so far. Bringing in Tennessee to our beautiful palace. We have a convoy of recruits coming to town. Gotta put on a show for him. Awful show so far. I feel like I'm watching Friends. We give it to Jarquez. He thankfully runs it and gets on the board. No idea what's happening. Someone on the team may be sabotaging. They drop back. Oh my gosh. She's wide open, dude. Yeah. Someone must have peed on the grave. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't want to tag about it. Tanner's a sad boy. 9-2 at the moment. Someone we lost again, man. We went on a three-game winning streak. Then, of course, man. Georgia just again ruining Tanner's day. Not very nice. For the final game of the season, you know what it is. Coach needs to tie up the rivalry against a little Nikki. It's a must win for us. Goodness gracious, man. We're allergic to fast starts. Thankfully, Jarquez Kez has had enough. He's going to get us a touchdown. Still getting spanked into submission. They have the sleeper holding us. Robbie sits patiently. Finds an open man deep down the middle for a touchdown. Good job, Greg. Got e. Climb back into this thing. Robbie gets out to his right. Steps and delivers to Ron Smith over the middle for a touchdown. Tied up. Things getting interesting. All comes down to a nice field goal. Thank for our kickers. A lunatic and is never scared. He kicks it right through and we beat Bama on the road by three. Big thanks to Robbie. He couldn't live with himself losing to Bama's senior year. He was a determined polar bear. Got a chance to enact revenge on the dogs in the SEC championship. We know we're ready. Little deficit here. Another two major. Robbie keeps the option and sprints through the hole. He's in the clear. Fast boy won't be caught to tie this baby up. We love playing from behind. That sounded wrong. Don't take it that way. Robbie hands it off to Damar and he runs through a motivated man. He secures us a touchdown. Finally within reach. Plenty of time here to get a touchdown. Robbie sits back and throws. Alright Dan. Was then aware they had a kangaroo in the vicinity? Depression is real. Hey Siri, play Marvin's room. Same stupid bull. Gosh man. Just wasn't close. Katie said it best man. This season was the one that got away. Frankie's off to greater pastures. He misses in and out. Coach me need to build one here to keep these West Coast kids around. Convince Ryan to come back. He was a late round
touchdown projection. He wins an SEC ring. A few draft picks leaving the team. Not too many graduates, though. Should have an absolutely yoked roster next year. Pretty happy with the class. Not as good as our last few, mostly because we didn't have many scholarships to hand out, but still brought in a good haul. Top 10 class. The team is great. Just need to stop pissing our pants at the side of a dog. They're nice creatures. If we don't do something of value this year, Coach needs to go on Ancestry.com and see if his family was into witchcraft. No reason this team shouldn't do awesome. Holden has been a patient boy waiting for his time to come, and it's here. Excited for the young man. He's got plenty of studs on defense to help him out with Robert Woodyard, Austin Osbury, and Ryan Walker. They have a dog as their screensaver. They're facing their fears. Not a no start for us. This is more like it. Firm control of the SEC West. Every team has been catching our wrath so far. Only Syracuse has been a close game. I'll leave a Noel Holmes to that one. All right, guys, time to show your manhood. First off, it's a drive move with the ball well. Holden isn't satisfied. Delivers to Jeff Franklin in the end zone. Great start, gang. Seven point lead, about to be 10. Loving what I'm seeing so far. Now, this is elegant. This must be what it's like to see a shooting star. One day, Tanner. One day. Holden throws to a wide open tight end. He's not the fastest cap, but he's got too much space. Touchdown, Tigers. The fans celebrate. Gonna be lots of rash decisions tonight. Bar owners will be happy humans, though. The team is ecstatic. Hopefully, someone will join Coach Garfunkel stargazing tonight. As we beat the dogs by 20 and return them the shaft we've been getting for years. Number one in America, 12 0, undefeated. Great job, gang. The Ole Miss game wasn't close, and we beat Nikki to get up to 3 2 on the rivalry series. Love to see that. All right, guys, let's not relapse here. Show the dogs who's the new king of the SEC. Eh, not going as well as last time. Hoping we can score before half and tie it up. That would be awesome. Holden sprints out and launches downfield to our wide open tight end. He has plenty of green grass. No chance anybody catches him. Gosh, man, close game. Stress is on an all time high. We got faith in Holden. He drops back and throws it in splendid. Well, I think it's time for the guillotine. Still snag the one seed. Coach has been staring at the sun, trying to mask the pain. Playing the Longhorns, it's gonna natty. Offense has been putrid up to this point, but Holden knows what needs to be done. He throws Jeff and he gets us a touchdown. Gosh, man, our defense has been disappointed to say the least. Holden throws Jeff again, and these two are keeping us in the game. Finally got a lead. Gotta extend this bad boy, though. Holden sits in the pocket like a patient tiger and launches Camden Brown a beautiful route. He's gonna score a touchdown. Defense has been clamping down finally. Offense was to put this one away. Holden runs out of there and has another man open downfield. It's Camden Brown again. Fast boy, touchdown tag. Of course, Camden gets player of the game. No debate there. And the five point one over the Longhorns moving on to the Natty. I can relate with the players. It's like every time Tanner watched 100 Dalmatians. They're scared of the dog. I'm scared of Cruella DeVille. Gotta get revenge and face our fears, gang. Not a point for either team so far. Holden wants to change that. He hands off to Damari and he runs through the end zone. Great start. Defense has been spectacular this go around. We hand off to Damari. Clockwork, baby. Another touchdown Tigers. They just can't score on us. We came for revenge. Giving it to Mari. He cuts it up and gets a first down. Game over. Coach Garfunkel gets his first taste of a national title as a head coach. We beat the dogs by 11 in the national championship. Ugh. Another transfer. This time from Bam and he's going to Florida. Hopefully we get a chance to play the Gators. Ed Webb and Greg are both staying at Auburn. Happy to keep them around. Talk about a loaded roster. Look at all those draft picks. Got a lot to replace, but Coach Garfunkel is going to reload the roster. 14 young men making a great life choice. This is a happy day. DJ Brooks, John McCarty, and Alan Rutledge are all superstars in the making. Back at the one spot with five five stars. Coach is flexing those muscles, letting the country know Auburn football is here and ready to take over. Look at all these genetic freaks, man. Big, strong, fast, manly men. Tanner can't relate. Maybe in another life, Tanner. Maybe in another life. Great quarterback to lead the way, J.J. Dorch. He's been waiting his turn. Can't wait to see what he can do. Got 499 overalls with David Moore, Ryan Walker, Ed Webb, and J.J. Tanner will be very shocked if this team does not win a natty. If this isn't ASMR, then I don't know what is. The smart people think Auburn will be the best team in college football for years to come, and I can't help but agree. 6 no start to year 6. Love seeing a 0 in that com. Played a close game week 1 against the other Tigers, but every other game has been consensual spanking. For week 9, we headed Jordan Hare, playing the Aggies. Coach's insomnia has been giving him plenty of time to get recruits on campus, hoping for another victory. Look at decent so far. Can't get playing. JJ drifts back a little. Launches deep downfield. He hits Greg Blake. That'll be a touchdown for the Tigers. Love how we're playing so far. Very businessman-like. We give it to Carl and he bursts through the end zone for the touchdown. Gotta put this one away, friends. JJ steps up and throws to Greg again. He'll get into the end zone. Great job, everyone. The team is clapping. High five. It smiles everywhere. JJ played great. Happy the kid gets his chance to shine and ball out. Super proud of the team's performance. Not surprised, though. This is the new expectation. This is beautiful. Now I remember what it felt like to see Jessica Alba for the first time. Thank you, universe. Undefeated. Offense has been unreal this season. Fortune, anyone point scored. Big number there. Gave everyone the popsicle except last game of the year against our inbreds, but Nikki took another L. Still haven't won the SEC title. It's on the bucket list. Wouldn't want to be a dog right now. Offense has been underwhelming so far. They know what needs to be done. We hand it up to Alonzo and he runs through the hole to tie it up. This wins south quickly. Gigi steps up and delivers to Andy. Toy Story Town, baby. Touchdown. Defense got us a stop. Need to seal the deal here. We give it to the big man, Eric Miller, and he easily runs in to finally get the lead. One by one was him for a more convincing win, but Coach Garfunkel's a happy Peter anyway, capturing his first SEC title. Wow, an entire field of undefeated playoffs 
playoff teams. We're confident no other team is as genetically gifted as our bunch, though. Playing awesomeness so far. JJ runs the read option to perfection, keeping the run and scoring a touchdown. They're trying to put up a valiant fight. JJ knows we're inevitable. Speaking of inevitable, Greg is super open. JJ will deliver. Beautiful pass. The Buckeyes are tapping out, baby. They just never had a chance. Team is a motivated bunch. We want 15 and 0. Well, well, another dog in the octagon. This time is a Husky 14 0 versus 14 and 0. Can't wait. Feeling them out early on. JJ told me he knows we'll win this net. He made Tanner smile. He throws the scene to Jeff Franklin. It's sexiness. Touchdown, Tigers. Still got a lead. Need to get some space here, though. We hand off to Alonzo. He makes a cool cut to the outside. A burst through the end zone right before half. Huskies are hanging around. Back at the goal line. Just feed the beast Alonzo with a Z. He cuts inside. Touchdown, Tigers. Turn it on at the end. It went by 24. Alonzo with a Z played fantabulous. Alonzo is a good boxer name. Maybe one day he'll fight Jake Paul. Coach may finally be able to get some sleep. But winning back to back natties. Maybe a nice trip to Antarctica to swim with the penguins. He'll have plenty of options. Got Charles and Emmanuel leaving us prematurely. Safe travels, man. Convince five of our studs to come back. They want a three peat. But coach is getting used to this by now. Almost every kid is off to the draft. NFL factory. Coach feels like Willy Wonka, except the murderer part. We don't like that. 15 commits to the team gonna have some grasshoppers leave early a lot more now we need to keep these numbers up picked up damon sims brian ward scott landry and chris arnold the whole class is stacked it's as simple as that top 10 class texas and michigan are at the top they must have an influx of models on their campuses or maybe they just paid kids both are viable possibilities team is juiced again it's liver king times 10 so many studs waiting for the time to shine the number one quarterback recruit in the country gets his chance to showcase his inevitable greatness can't wait for him i run from indiana is a 99 overall safety him and kenneth wright formed on real safety duo on the back end first game of the season dabo thought it was a good idea to bring his tigers to town time to see who's the superior pussycat that never stood a chance dabbo was past his prime it's garfunkel time baby 10 and no guys what happened yucky who did we lose to started out great whooping everybody then really guys really we lose to four and seven north carolina smh my head final game of the year gotta let off some steam the team is an angry bunch can't wait for nikki or feel our wrath first drive in offense our backup is in adam got a little banged up he throws a screen thingy to john nolan can't believe that actually worked touchdown tigers we're playing pissed love the energy so far we hand out the chat and yep easy touchdown tanner could have scored that nikki is trying to rally the troops we ain't having none of that we get hit but it's john nolan in the end zone beautiful throw great job guys chad played great such a good name i love chad's he helped us beat bama by 19 and we're now four and two against our old buddy nicholas jupopolis saban tennessee is an sec title great to see some new blood let's get this championship pretty tense game so far still got our backup leading the way he throws over the middle to john nolan he turns up and scores as a touchdown good job offense they're getting waxed now that we've turned up the heat we hit damon crowd on the right sideline this baby is gg goodness never seen another man so happy Happy. Eric may be having an orgasm. Love the emotion, young Eric. Coach Garfunkel gets his second straight SEC titles. We end up crushing Tennessee by 42. Great job, gang. Not the one seed, but we're in the field. That's all that matters. Playing Penn State one game at a time. Offense has been stagnant so far. Eric gets out to his right. Courts to Lance Payne to get us on the board. Finally gets some separation. Love to see it. Eric runs out to his right, sits, and launches deep for Johnny Boy. That's a touchdown. Good job, guys. Defense is putting Penn State in house arrest. There's no escape. Eric is a free butterfly. He can do whatever he wants. He waltzes into the end zone to put the exclamation mark on this one. Dominant win over the Lions. Tigers have always been scarier. Not really surprised. Playing the Hurricanes. Let's get this three-peat. In the early going, Eric sits in the pocket and throws to Andy Huggins. He turns up into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Hurricanes aren't backing down. Thankfully, Tigers can swim. Eric throws quickly to Andy again. And yep, touchdown. Let's go, baby. Defense has been laying down the hammer ever since. Touch on here and we can create some real separation. We hand it off to Chetty. Plows through and he ends up into the end zone for a touchdown. We beat the U by 19 to capture our three-peat. Big thanks to Eric stepping up in young Adam's absence. He's been a lead for us. As Coach Garfunkel continues his dominance, making Nicky regret not giving him a pay raise two more premature kids go to the draft best wishes to lance and damon convince five of our guys to come back they needed another year under coach garfunkel's tutelage holy eskimos back at willy Wonka's chocolate factory just churning out draft picks feel bad for tommy boy somehow 99 overall isn't getting drafted it's the curious case of tom neely 22 commits coaches loading up need to keep bringing in new lads to the program great haul added some quality we also added some depth pieces that could contribute in three to four years coach has his eye on kevin charles george miller and brett miller possible distant cousins there number one class in all of america not a shocker coach wanted to reclaim his throne back in the recruiting world team is loaded once again coach just keeps reloading his bazooka adam came back after getting hurt he's got three natties but he wants a fourth one the corner room is just one of many rooms that are stacked to the brim marcus mccullough yeah i don't need him to say that and andre mansfield who cares they're both good at football and super fast they'll be awesome for us and we can't forget about the offensive line coaches recruited well everywhere and the big boys up front are no different they will keep adam a safe boy 5-0 to start the year. Haven't even allowed 100 points yet. That's a beautiful sight to see. Played two ranked teams in Texas and Ole Miss. Both couldn't stop the buzzsaw as well as slashing through everybody else. Got so many great kids committed. This is what it feels like to be wanted. And man, it's an awesome feeling. For this week, we welcome Ohio State to town. A little midseason out of conference showdown. We're ready. Up 10 before half. Only a few seconds left. Adam sits and just heaves it all the way down the field. There's no defense back there. What the what? Run, Johnny Boy, run. What kind of idiot defense was that? Jim Knowles is sleeping on the jab. Got a nice cushion with over two minutes left. Everybody likes more pills. We hand it off to 
chat and he runs through the end zone this baby is over dominant win over the number three team in the nation team is a wrecking ball right now miley can relate 10 and 0 ridiculous points scored to points given up we're basically a minor league football team at this point no game has really been close got an elite offense and an elite defense no one stands a chance playing another tiger this week in tiger stadium never want to test our kitty cat prowess this won't end well everyone saw that coming not even the drake curse could stop the inevitable big credit to young adam he continues the ball out glad he's a healthy boy so far this year after being nicky again we finished 12 and 0 in year 8 it's looking good in auburn alabama back to playing the dogs in the sec championship the team is seasoned like a good stake we're ready down four not too worried yet adam keeps the read option yeah easy laid touchdown tigers got a classic pet fight dog and kitty cat would love a stop here to put this one away they throw on the run get there gang we pick it off what a great play coach garfunkel gets another sec title gotta keep expanding the trophy room coach Woo! familiar foe in the cfp semifinal can't wait for this early deficit definitely foreign territory for us adam drops back and throws over the middle to reggie and we finally get on the board offense decided to have a midlife crisis at the worst possible time need to convert this fourth down adam sprints out to his left no one is getting open he runs use your speed young adam nope not good not good at all gotta come up clutch here on defense they hand it off horrible tackle attempt that's embarrassing well that's a first down not good and we miss another tackle that's wonderful when it rains it pours Q sound of the times tanner needs some harry styles pronto i'm in mourning chance is coming back don't blame you sport russ is transferring he tried to use us to get a natty that didn't work he's fling convinced six very good players to come back they wanted to leave early coach wants to raise their draft grade per usual we have a colony of draft picks nine first round picks that has to be some sort of record that's insane no clue young adam can't find a home he'll go to the XFL and balled in front of the rock. Seven, two new friends coming to join the party. Happy about their arrival. Ernie Brown looks like a dude. Same with Jamal Humphrey and Alfred Johnson. This class is just full of dudes. Four, five stars, 10, four stars, loaded up with talent. Number one class in the country. Coach is a man on a mission. He wants to avenge his loss. Before the season, Coach Garfunkel received a phone call and was told of the alleged allegations from the NCAA. They told Coach who was a rival coach in our conference that is alleging these allegations. And Coach Garfunkel knew who it was immediately. Nikki pulling a quick one on Coach Garfunkel. Of course, the allegations aren't true they're of course made up unfortunately recruits aren't as convinced so the next four years we can already recruit three-star prospects to the program since no kid wants anything to do with us right now and since it's about to be year nine checking on the head head comparison with coach nikki jupopolis saban and coach garfunkel a lot of we're moving so far hopefully we can scout some studs and get some three-star gems in the next four years to keep this thing rolling the team is motivated coach garfunkel is motivated everyone's angry at nikki we're coming for blood eric jackson stepped in for us a couple years back he's ready to now start stud muffin alert there with him embarrassment of riches at running back we basically have Eva Mendez starting and Jennifer Aniston off the bench. Hard to top that. Undefeated start to the year. Love the vengeance we're coming out with. Already beat two ranked out of conference opponents as well. Loving it. After the win over Army, welcome Ole Miss to town. Looking for revenge for what happened in the CFP semifinal. And Coach knows this is a highly anticipated game, so he's a bunch of commits from the class coming to campus hoping to put on a show. No points to the board yet. Eric sees a wide open man. That's Michael Ford. Way to create separation chop. That'll be a touchdown for Auburn. Showing the Rebels who's popping that they struck lightning in a bottle. Eric lofts to the right side. Sexy throw to John Huggins for a touchdown. Yeah. Spanked Ole Miss. Team is a very motivated bunch. We're a choo-choo train. Wouldn't advise anybody getting in our way. And Reggie played awesome this game at receiver for us. Two touchdowns over 100 yards, making Coach proud. Let's not act surprised. Finished undefeated in the regular season. Spanking every team left and right. Capped off the season with reminding Nikki, who's the new sheriff in town. Play Missouri. Ooh, new team. This should be fun. Sadly, we're the more alpha kitty cat. They'll find that out soon. Up 11 in the late third quarter. They're hanging around. We want to put this baby away. Eric runs out to his right sits and throws deep across the field. Holy smokes. What a fine lead. King of the end zone that was beautiful took us a bit but put the tigers away so many teams named tiger man need some ostriches or octopuses need some more variety out there our mascot timmy the tiger doesn't care he's crowd surfing all the players are jumping around happy but they have a natty on their mind coach will gladly take another sec title but you don't want to poke the big bear he's coming for it all quite the intriguing playoff field here taking on another undefeated team let's pound them in submission just wasn't close soon as i saw them step off the bus i knew they were a barbecue chicken coach acts happy maybe if it was an actual trophy he would be happy not just a bowl of oranges man could never understand that trophy and how it holds any value whatsoever. Ohio State popped West Virginia 14 0 versus 14 0. Time for another natty, baby. Offense has been non existent so far, but a touch right here would be awesome. Eric drops back and throws to Michael Ford. There it is, baby. Defense has been amazing. Great job, Posse. Eric drifts around. Love the presence. It throws to John McCarty fast, boy. He's going to run in there. Great job. They need an onside kick here. Hands team is out there. Coach is confident to recover it. Thank you, McCarty. This baby's over. Coach gets lifted up like a great donut, and Coach gets to hoist up his fourth national title after a lot of Brad press on the program. Lots of friends leaving the 
program and going to the draft. Best wishes, man. Thankfully, I had a ton of guys test the draft waters, and they're coming back. They just didn't have a high enough projection. And per usual, a pirate ship full of kids leaving early. A backup quarterback, Tony Stone, is leaving, and he hasn't even played a snap. The program is in an unreal spot right now. 16 commits. Every single one is a three-star. And Tanner is now using the new recruiting mod for these next eight years to spice things up. Dominic Sam McClure, where all gems coach found, and he's super ecstatic about. 72nd class in America. Going to be a long ways away from our typical number one spot. Coach is going to have to do some coping, but he'll come out a champ. Another year, another team loaded with junkyard dogs everywhere. Since Tony Stone left, we're starting at 86 overall, Arthur Sapp. Lowest overall starting quarterback we've had in a long time, but he's a fast cougar at 93 speed. This will be interesting. He does have the blessing of having an absurdly good offensive line across the board, so this big boy should help out Arthur greatly. Uh, okay. Lost, not happy about that. Yucky, man. Mississippi State, not a pretty sight to see. Haven't played too great this year at all. Have the bye week full of self-reflection. We head home to play the Aggies. Let's make a statement, guys. Crappy statement so far. King Arthur got got hurt. We hand off and get the edge. Nice cut out to the outside for Gary. He's too fast. Needed that touchdown there. Great opportunity to get up four points without too much time left. We give it to Gary again. He sprints through fast boy showing off the wheels. They scored seven. Chance here for one of our players to become a legend. Nate Jackson runs around and sees a land in the end zone. He takes it, dives, and you gotta be kidding me, man. Nate had a chance to be a lucky boy tonight and he blew the bag. Don't talk to Tanner. Don't know how to explain it. Three losses this season. Coach hasn't lost that many games in over five years. Coach is in a very happy camper right now. One three in a row that Ole Miss smacked us. Think we would beat Nikki again. That program is falling off a cliff, man. Playing the Mormons, coach expects an excursion of frustration from the team. Showing BYU another cat who's king of the jungle. Arthur is back in the game. He runs out, uses his fast boy speed, and throws to Ralphie, and yep, another touchdown for the Tigers. They just never had a chance. We won by three tutties, and Gary is no snail. Fast human, played great for us in the tax bowl. Almost 10 kids leaving early. Very used to it by now. Best of luck in the NFL, gang. Donovan is transferring. Coach is pretty sad about him leaving. Probably just misses his girlfriend or something. Convinced Arthur and many other studs to come back. They can't get enough of Auburn. Then we of the seniors moving on to the draft. Gonna make millions of dollars. Don't forget, coach, when you guys are big time. Coach has done an awesome job recruiting with the limitations so far. He's done a great job scouting. John Sanders and DeAndre Overstreet were both big time pickups for us. No clue what five star decided to sign here. We'll be sure to cut him. 64th in America would have been way lower if that five star didn't walk on. Holy boss, Jimmy Snow, negative 24 overall. Best wishes, lad. Coach Garfunkel is cutting ya. Team is amazing. Once again, we disappointed Tanner last season, just like how Michigan did losing to a frog in the CFP. We need to get back on tap. Arthur is far more seasoned all the way up to a 96 overall he should be way better this season on defense we have a great safety duo with bio smith and jermaine west both are young peacocks waiting to fly this is auburn football baby 9-0 start of the season coach is going to reward himself with some frozen uncrustables he's a simple man we've played like four incredibly close games this year we managed to pull out every single one haven't been as dominant as years past but we'll take the undefeated record and number one ranking coaches hit the recruiting trail hard really emphasizing guys that could be players for us in three to four years due to the new recruiting rules for only a couple more seasons though playing the puppy dogs on the road. Better hope you're ready for a war because the pussycats sure are. Tied up in the tug of war so far. Arthur uses those hind legs and runs out of danger. Throws to Mike Parker who turns up into the end zone. Arthur is hurt again. He's a fragile boy, but Nate is ready. He drifts to his right, makes a gorgeous throw to Kevin Charles. Wowzers. Great play, gang. Narrow went over the dogs. Proud of the team's great record in these close games. We beat ranked Ole Miss and ranked Bama in back-to-back -back weeks to finish the season undefeated. Feeling great. Back in the SEC title, playing the dogs again. They want another crack at us. We're down a little. Not too scared, though. We give it to Phil and he runs it like it was for a touchdown. Got a battle on our hands, man. We're ready for a war. King Arthur throws the corner out to Ralph, and he runs it to get us the lead. Just a three-point lead. First down here, we can do the Macarena to parte. We hand it up to Phil. He cuts it side. Yeah, first down, baby. Let's go. Coach has been working out with the players. This is his time to shine. All the hard work. He props up the trophy like a tic-tac. Oh, that got heavy real quick. Coach didn't work on stamina. A player helps out the cause. Thank you, lad. First seed playing against the Corn Boys. They don't know the Southern Sun. They're not ready for this. Guess the sun is the same there as it is here. I got bamboozled to say the least. Nate drops back and throws to Kevin Charles for a touchdown. Finally scored. Thank the heavens. Tied up late in the game. Need to get into field goal range. We throw over the middle. It's Kevin again, our saving grace. We're into field goal range now. Legend status could be achieved here. No pressure, Grasshopper. We kick it up. Yeah, right up the middle. Beautiful kick. Legend status achieved. Won the CFP by three. Closer than we would have liked, but a dub is a dub. Playing the Trojans. Coach wants his fifth natty. Let's make it happen. Little deficit before half. Seven would be great. Arthur throws over the middle to Kevin. He's our quarterback's best friend. Such a stud. Yeah, it ain't looking good, friends. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Only hope is getting seven ASAP as possible. Arthur runs around trying to get the end zone. He gets tackled in. Depression. They recover it. Yeah, dream's dead, man. Players are sad. Coach is sad. Gonna have Adele ease us through the pain. So many players leaving early compared to most years. Not ideal to say the least. And we have three kids transferring. Coach is gonna need some more Adele to cope. Thankfully, we convinced 
lost over 10 players to come back. They wanted to leave early. Coach wanted them to get the big bucks. It was best for both parties. Every senior is going to get drafted. It's such a beautiful sight to see for Coach Garfunkel. 17 commits again this cycle. Haven't gotten any plus like 20 overall gems to commit yet. But kids like Deshaun Urban, Jordan Roy, and Jordan Marrow can definitely keep the foundation sturdy. 43 in the country. Going to cut the four star and decided to walk on. Pretty happy with the classes we've been landing in the last three years. Another year, another loaded roster for Coach. Super happy with the continued development, even with the allegations lingering on. Nate is our man at quarterback. King Arthur got hurt a lot, so he has plenty of experience, and he's our only 99 overall. He'll be elite. His best friend Kevin is back a receiver for us. Those two have a majestic connection, but we also have Ernie Brown and Joe Smith, two other great players for us. Started six and oh my gosh, yuck, yuck, yuck. You don't like seeing that. Who's the culprit? We were handing out L's left and right until Ole Miss, the Rebels. Ugh. Time to channel all the negative energy at home against I thought that was a piggy, but looking at the teeth, it looks like a vampire. I don't know what to believe, man. Late in the game, built ourselves a nice comfy lead. We want to put this game away. We hand it off and yep, ran right in there. Touchdown Tigers. Team runs off, prancing around with joy. Love to see it as we beat the pig vampires by 19. Finished 11-1, second in the division because we lost to the Rebels. Won our last four games, including the annual spanking to Bama. Coach is owning that rivalry. Got into the playoff as the two seed. Playing USC, they're a familiar foe. Let's get the dub. First off, it's a possession. Nate runs out of the pocket to his right. He sits and throws downfield. What a route by Jamal Humphrey. Beautiful touchdown, guys. At the goal line, a touchdown here would be marvelous. Nate drops back in the pocket, throws immediately to Mike Parker for the two-score lead. Coach is going for the juggler. We're passing for first down here to put this baby away. And Nate throws a little to Anthony. Works for it for first down. GG, baby. Nate played awesome for us, just continuing our elite quarterback play at the position. It's just a non-stop final of studs and the six-point win in the CFP semifinal. Play the Buckeyes in the natty. Coach puts another ring for his tenor profile. No pressure, guys. Well, that ain't looking good so far. Really need seven here. We stay in the pocket and throw over the middle to Mr. Riches for a touchdown. Time to shine, man. Down three. Make magic happen, lads. Nate throws to the right side. It's an over receiver. He has the Allen touchdown, baby cakes. Let's go. Only three seconds left. It's the last play. They heave it all the way down to the field. The quarterback is a cannon. It bounces around and falls incomplete. Woo, man. Coach Garfunkel was having a bad day after his fish drowned. This will definitely cheer him up, winning his fifth natty. Not as many guys leaving early. Thankfully, Coach likes keeping the kids around. Makes them feel loved and cherished. Two more young guns transferring. Not the end of the world. Convince three receivers that are very good at football to come back, as well as three others that could benefit big time staying around another year. Every senior is getting drafted. It's clockwork at this point. Coach's Chocolate Factory is a lean, mean machine. 18 commits a cycle. I'm sorry, I can't wait. Jalen Ivory, a plus 24 overall gem committed to us, and Coach Garfunkel spazzed on the spot. He hadn't been that excited since he read a fake Reddit rumor that One Direction was coming back together. 51st class in the nation. Per usual, we're going to cut whoever the four star was that walked on. Just can't get over Jalen Ivory, man. It's such a steal for us. Let's try to go back to back Natty this year. We certainly have plenty of awesome players. Deshaun Urban is going to be the man at quarterback. He's a young duckling just waiting for his chance to flourish, and he'll have it this season. Thankfully, the team is yoked on offense with Dominic Craig Myers and Mark Kill Marbley at running back. It's a cool name, Mark Kill Marbley. Plus, Ernie Brown, Joe Smith, and Terrence Taylor are all back for their senior seasons at wide receiver. Lots of talent on offense. 5 0 started the season. I'm a big fan. Haven't played anyone too good, but have been giving all of them the shafts, so that's a welcome sight. And Coach can finally recruit four and five star players, and he hasn't been this excited since he discovered the magic of a microwave. Rebels have been a thorn in our side during Coach's career. Hope we could spank them in front of our fans. Nice little read option here. Deshaun keeps it. Goodness gracious, man. He's built like a Greek god. No one's to tackle that. Got a score before half here to extend it to a two possession game. Deshaun sits and throws the Anthony Allen quickly for a touchdown. Nice insurance policy with less than four minutes left. That kick will go through. We got this baby in the bag. The Greek god played phenomenal. His dad has to be like a chiseled seven foot ten freak of nature. Great win over Ole Miss. Team's playing well. Gotta keep it rolling. Makes Tanner smile so big. 12 0 again. Can't ever get tired of seeing that. Only had a close game against Texas AM. Every other game, we smoked them. Playing the orange tee in the SEC title game. Let's get some more hardware, baby. Trailing by a little early in the game. The Greek god sprints out and delivers to Terrence Taylor, who turns up into the end zone for a touchdown. Got some good separation now. We throw it underneath to Anthony, and yep, another touchdown to get our lead up to 21. Ended up winning by 10. Love the team's resolve in this one. Coach shakes the opposing coach's hand with a big smile on his face as we win another SEC title and keep stockpiling the trophy case. Coin boys again. They gave us a battle last time. Gotta be ready for this one. Uh, corn boys are dominating us right now. Not a good situation we have here, and the Greek god is hurt, so everything is crumbling apart. We throw the Anthony Allen, a bowling ball of a man. He sprints and breaks the tackle. Get off me. That'll be a very much needed touchdown for us. Desperately need seven before half. That would be a great help to the Cos. We throw to Ernie, and he runs into the end zone, staying alive. Looking very, very dim. We need seven in the worst way. We loft in the air. Yikes. Our prayer won't be answered, man. Shoot. Coin boys got revenge. Coach is gonna go cuddle with his life-size Scooby-Doo to mask the pain. Two kids transferring. Always got someone transferring, man. Convince five kids to come back and stay in happy land. They won't regret it. Tons of seniors getting drafted. Coach is happy for all of them. Hope someone becomes a magician, because Tanner loves magic. Michael didn't want to sign here. His loss. Really awesome class, not being restricted to three stars. Although he didn't land someone as amazing as Jalen Ivory, though. Second in the nation, coach won't miss.
miss the handcuffs anytime soon. Another phenomenal team for year 14. Roster every year is going to be the best in college football. Just got to put it all together every week. Gosh, man, these kids get Tanner so jealous. Can you imagine being six foot five, 225 pounds of pure muscle? I'm just a jealous butterfly, man. Loaded running back room again. All the studs are coming back. Jalen is patiently waiting for his turn. Well, lost a game. Very disheartening to say the least. I've won so many close games and we finally got snipped by the Gamecocks. Yuck. Cheer up, Buttercup. Coaches in the number one class in America with six five-star commits already. Just an absurd start to the recruiting cycle for us. But we get a chance at home to pick up a ranked win. Let's get a dominant win here, friends. Uh, down two right now. Wouldn't be thrilled with seven before half. Deshaun drifts out of the pocket. Of course, it's a little average for the touchdown. Haven't looked back since. Seven here would put it away. We throw to Andrew on the right side. And yep, touchdown Tigers. Team is sucking up to the Greek guy, hoping to figure out his diet. And a Georgia player is clearly a sad puppy. You could transfer here anytime, sport. As we end up beating the dogs by 12, super good W for us. One out the rest of the year. Happy to see that. Spanked LSU and Bama back to back weeks. Team is on a roll at the moment. Gosh, man. Georgia has a monopoly on the SEC East. I want to play like Florida, Vandy, Kentucky. I mean, just somebody new, man. It is what it is. Coming down to the wire. Need the defense to go up Kutch here. They throw over the middle. No way, Jose. That's ours, baby cakes. Awful read by their quarterback. That should steal the deal. Deshaun played great for us. He wants to be the starting quarterback of a natty team as coach lifts up another SEC title. Playing the two seed Longhorns in the semifinal. Let's get coach a sixth natty. Drove down a field. Now in the red zone. We hit after the gem Jalen Ivory. He burst through for a touchdown. Kicking a field goal a few seconds before half. Got ourselves a nice, comfy two possession lead now. Love where we're at. We just got to get seven to put this one over the edge. We throw up the middle and hit Jordan Roy for a touchdown. See, now that's a trophy. Not just a random bolt with oranges in it. This has actual value. Coach is proud to add that to his trophy case. Super happy with how the team played. Moving on to the natty. Wow, shocked is an understatement. The black and yellow birdies are in the championship game. Let's get this natty. To start the game, Greek got hands it off to Dominic, and he has an easy peasy touchdown to get the early lead. Having tons of success so far, we give it to Dominic again, and gosh, their defensive line is bunt. Stevie Wonder could have scored that touchdown. Just isn't going well for them at all. Their Cinderella run is coming to a halt. The shot throws over the middle to Glenn. He swerves inside. <laughs> slick move. There he has too much speed. That'll be a touchdown for the Tigers. Deshaun played phenomenal for the squad. He was a motivated man this game. Coach lifts up his sixth national title, tying his old pal Nikki. As we curb stop Southern Miss, need a thorough, and I mean thorough investigation to how they beat USC. Only got one player leaving early, and that's Anthony Allen. He's a stud. Best of luck, Grasshopper, and a transfer at quarterback as well. Another year the Greek got as a starting quarterback. Sign me up, baby cakes. The list never ends. Holy cheesecake. So many seniors going to the draft. Gonna have to replace a ton. And Coach knew that. He can be a smart cookie at times. 22 kids coming in in a large recruiting class. Picked up a ridiculous tackle trio with Colby Claflin, Jeff Rabunzier, and Colt not even gonna... These names are exotic, man. Tanner cannot read that well. Seven five stars, ten four stars. Number one class. Coach is a happy camper. Back where we belong on top, baby. Really happy with the team. Even with the allegations going on, Coach was able to weather the storm and put together a great team the last few years. Greek God is back at quarterback. Make it Tanner jealous. He can do everything. He's fast. He's big. He's tall. He's strong. Maybe he has a weird voice or something. Somehow, man. Just make it fair. Offensive line is ridiculously deep with talent to help protect a shine. Coach has been trying to continue making that a focal part of the recruiting strategy. First game of the year, the athletic director is a greedy goblin. He wants some moolah. We're playing the Trojans at home. And we have some kids who want to get on campus already. And Coach is a big fan. We welcome 90 overall Sam Langan and 92 overall Jared Marshall, both on the visitors list. Yeah, we clobbered them. Probably would have been the outcome if they beat the yellow and black birdies, but we'll never know. Ah, oh, man, monkey piss. Who did we lose to this time? We were spigot teams left and right. Some good, some trash, then great. Lost to another Tiger who has four losses. I know Coach is an angry human right now. Got a chance to lighten the pain, welcoming the pig vampires to Jordan Hare. Coach made sure to have the groundskeepers lace the field with garlic. We got this one. Well, the garlic hasn't worked so far. Gotta give it time to soak in. A shot throws to the right side on the curl to Jordan Roy for a touchdown. Told you, just gotta give it time, baby. Deshaun sees an opening. No one wants to tackle that, man. He'll score us a touchdown as well. Just putting it on them now. Tanner has always been Team Jacob. Deshaun runs out and throws to Glenn to score another touchdown for the Tigers. Groundskeepers are MVP. Our offense was unstoppable in the big win. There it is. Looks like we won out the rest of the year. Beat Georgia, Gamecocks, and Bama. Gosh, man. When was the last time Coach lost to the Crimson Tide? It's been a while. Good to see a fellow pussycat in the SEC title game. Let's get another title, baby. Offense has been useless so far. Deshaun wants to change that. He throws to Andrew, and finally we score a touchdown. Low scoring affair. Not our wheelhouse. We love to score, but we can adapt. Greek God is hurt. Just gotta give it to Jalen and watch him run into the end zone. The offense finally stopped hitting the snooze button. Deshaun's still hurt. Just hand it off to Jalen again. Don't overthink it. Clear pat at the end zone and we take it in. Touchdown Tigers. The fans are happy humans. I think Coach's grandpa is in the crowd somewhere. No clue how. He's still prowling around, but he's somewhere in there. The team is full of life and joy. Winning the SEC title as we narrowly won over Missouri by five. Well, they got their dying wish. They want revenge for week one. Let's be a dream killer today, boys. No one could score so far. Deshaun knows we're inevitable. We hit the tight end and he pitches into Draper Fields. What a crazy play. As long as it worked, we don't care. Trojan's putting up a much more valiant fight this go around. Deshaun stays patient, finds an open melee that's Draper again for the touchdown. Coming down to a last second field goal, kick is very 
very short. It'll go an easy peasy. Team Celebrate's getting a little too excited. They're acting like they just solved world peace, but who cares? We're moving on to the Natty after the three point win. Taking on the Long Hordes, another team looking for revenge. Let's end their dream. Tied up before half. Would we'll be thrilled with a touchdown here. We give it to Jalen and he sprints through the end zone to get us on top. Still a tied up game late in the fourth quarter. We drop back and throw to the right side and turn up field dive. And you've got to be kidding me, man. Well, that's sadness. Got to try and stop them from getting in the field goal range. They throw underneath and yeah. That isn't good. Hoping for a miracle. Maybe the kicker pieces pants or slips. Something happened. Yeah, so much for that, man. Three point loss in the CFP. Suck you way to lose, man. Only a couple guys leaving early. Best wishes to Jalen. Coach was hoping he'd stay around another year, but he's just too good. And we also have a backup offensive lineman leaving. Best of luck, lads. A ton of kids are coming back after receiving their draft grade. They were revenge for the natty loss last year. Yeah, always a lot of seniors moving on. Thankfully, almost every single one is going on to the NFL. I honestly think this may be Coach's best recruiting class ever going into year 16. Top to bottom, 17 dudes are going to be added to the roster. Jared Marshall's a 92 overall five star, and Sam Lang is a 90 overall. They're both studs. 11 five stars, and somehow we landed the second best class. Tanner is confusion to say the least, but whatevs. Final year, this team wants Natty Seven to put Coach Garfunkel on top of Nikki in that category. The Greek guy is off to greater pastures. He's replaced by a. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. A six foot four, 225 pound. Yeah, we just recruit genetic freaks back to back. Darius will be insane. And Lyle Smith is the best player on the roster. He'll spearhead the defense for us at the back end. Undefeated start of the season, not a surprise to us at all. Played some close games, but pulled out the W. It's a difficult schedule for us per usual. Now we welcome the orange tees to Jordan Hare. They're third in the nation. Let's remind the country who's king of the hill. At the goal line, Darius is feeling it this drive. He drops back and throws a Draper Fields for a touchdown. Team's playing awesome so far, especially the defense. Darius got hurt, so our backup is in. He drifts back and throws to the right sideline to Jordan Roy. And that'll be another touchdown for us. They're having a tough time. We want to put this baby away. We hand off to Ricky Hill and he runs into the end zone. Game over. Darius got hurt, but is still player of the game. He was balling out as we won big over Tennessee by 35 at home. Finished undefeated. Love seeing this. Makes Tanner a happy camper. Didn't have a single close game. They were all spankings. Beat Bam again. We have to have an insane record against Coach Tide. Rematch the SEC Championship against the Orange Tees. Let's get Coach some more trophies to show off to his pet lizard, Plankton. Freaking Darius is hurt again, man. So many quarterback injuries this video. We drop back and check it down underneath. Jordan Roy runs away from the defender. Then swerves inside. That was cool. He's in the clear. That'll be a touchdown to get us on the board early. Just like last go around, we're taking him to the woodshed. We loft in the end zone. Nice touch pass for a touchdown to Jordan Roy again. Our offense foams in the mouth playing tennis defense this is going very well we throw the draper fields in the out route and they just never had a chance man coach hoist up his final sec title of this video we've seen this beautiful cutscene many many times as we give tennessee another reality check this season time to get coach's seventh natty playing the u in the semis one game at a time gang got a battle in our hands we'll be happiness to get seven darius hands off to rick and he bursts through to get a seven before half still just a seven point lead darius runs out to his right and throws downfield to cool thomas for a touchdown they got a chance to tie it up can't let that happen their quarterback steps up and runs around come down to tackle friends we hit him and he fumbles Pick it up, you idiots. A big boy picks it up, and he's got some speed. He's in the clear. There's no one within distance. He'll score us a touchdown and move out of the natty. Darius played great. Glad to see he's finally healthy for the squad as we beat the Hurricanes by 14 and clinch a spot in the national championship. Ah, man. Bring the garlic back out. Third and goal. Darius wants seven. He steps out and scribbles to the left and throws to Andrew. What a beautiful play. Touchdown, Tigers. Eight point lead at the moment. Would love to make it a two possession game before half. Darius lobs it into the end zone and lands in the soft hands of AJ Burnett for a touchdown. Eight point lead. Need to extend this. Want to feel comfy. Darius throws the curl out to Jordan on the right side asking you shall receive baby kicking a field goal with less than two minutes left to make it a three possession game the garlic is undefeated great win over arkansas on the natty and coach gets to hoist up his seventh national title and pass up his old pal nikki drupopolis save it in national championships terrific career for coach garfunkel had some bumps along the way but made auburn consistently elite looks like we had a better career than coach nikki best in him in every category especially the record versus bama 14 and 2 i think it's safe to say coach garfunkel is the new goat of college football tanner just became the goat of college football but can he turn kentucky to a football school if you want to find out, click the video on the screen.